whole world smiles with you. Welcome to Living and Enjoying Life the I Am Way. I'm Coach Val, aka the I Am Lady, and who are you? I'm Pastor Butler, Coach Butler. <laughs> Yes, over the gold lady. The over the gold lady. Yes, yes, yes. And we're here. Every, our topic today is what's new. And we're going to tell you what's new in our life. And then we want you to share what's new in your life for 2019. And like I said, we already last week we talked about you know the situation and the government shutdown. But um, what we're going to do now, we're going to talk about positive things. What we're going to do, like what is God leading you in 2019? He's giving me a whole lot of stuff to do in 2019 so hopefully with his help I can accomplish great yes, things. Yes you will. Yes, yes, that's yes. That's why, I, that's, yes, yes so, you will. Well, let me tell you what's new and then you can go ahead and tell everybody what's new in your life and uh, this is completely downloaded by the Holy Spirit to me. Uh, he told me to uh, focus on ministry this year and being a blessing to people. He said that we need to have um, fellowship and I'm going to continue fellowshipping with other people. I understand some, I have some limitations, but um, I'm going to try to fellowship with people once a week. People need to know the truth. People need encouragement. And I, I have an apostolic background. And so for those of you who don't really understand what that is, an apostolic background is that I need to equip people and send them out, okay? It's like, I'm not trying to equip people and keep them in. I'm trying to equip them and send them out. So what I'm gonna do is be working with people this year to equip them and not so much coaching, but also teaching as okay. well as okay. encouraging okay. them to do what God's called them to do. I'm going to ask them, what's new? What is God calling you to do? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. You know, okay. and so that's what I'm going to do this year. Um, and I'm trying to think of a, a, a way due to, you know, most of you know, I have lupus. So I'm trying to think of a way to make it not as grueling. So what I'm going to do is sometimes do it online. And sometimes okay. I'm going to do it face to face and, and just so that we can be consistent, consistent. Okay. And also I'm bringing into good. play a couple of other ministers to help me, good. you know. So, um, you know, when two, when Jesus sent people out, he sent them two out together. So if one is like little, if I'm resting, I'm not saying I'm sick, but if I'm recuperating, then the other one could go for it. You know what I mean? So that's what I plan to do and, and focus more on spiritual path alliance, the ministry. Um, in addition, I also have a new line of jewelry and also holistic uh, aromatherapy products. Uh, my daughter and I partner and I'm, I'm investing in her business as well as, you know, and, and we're coming together to launch a new line of jewelry. And it's um, holistic jewelry. It's jewelry that's like sterling silver jewelry. I have some on today, as you can see, looking, and good. looking good. And then also we have some um, jewelry that's kind of like healing jewelry. You know how magnets can help you and relax you. And then some aromatherapy jewelry that you can kind of put um, fragrance in there, the, you know, the aroma aromas in there, like uh, lavender. lavender. And it, if you have it in your bracelet, when, you, when you're walking around all day, you can see that and you can relax it helps you to relax and so it's all been proven scientifically that's true and so um, we're going to have that it's called beautiful emotions and uh, we want you to have the joy that's great. of the lord inside of you as well as on the outside we want everything to be in alignment and so beautiful emotions uh, the initials are be which means to be we want to encourage people to be who they are created to be so um those are two things that we're gonna work on it and I do have help. Thank you. So. What about you, Neri? What's new? What you gonna be doing in 2019? Well, there are a couple of things. One of the key things is I'm bringing together collaboration, the cross collaboration of pastors together. Uh, one of the key things is that we want to do is to that no pastor be alone. So there is training. Um, again, we both equip leaders, equipping pastors with an understanding of what's going on in their community today. Uh, one of the things that I found out that if pastors don't talk, we're all experiencing the same thing. It's just that we're isolated. And so when you come together, cross-denominational, cross, cross barriers, just coming together for a time to be equipped to hear what God is saying in the midst of it is over the goal, which I have an upcoming event uh, the first Saturday in February at the Embassy Suites over by the airport. Um, the goal there is you. 
My passion is to get you focus on your authentic identity. A lot of us do not ask God about what he has on the agenda for us. We mostly go to God and tell him what we want and we don't understand what God's plan and destiny is for us. And my heart's cry is to get you focused on who you are in him, where you need to go so that we can launch you over the goal so that you can take momentum. So my passion is, is to get those of you that are ready because your readiness is not somebody else's readiness at this particular time and season. Your 170 may be somebody else's 60, and that's not demeaning anyone, but if you're ready, it's time to move. Uh, we've entered in a, um, 2019, and I truly know that in the spirit of the Lord that we've got to be about our Father's business. And so that you can see uh, what God has in store for you. The other thing that is very key is that one of the things that God has been dealing with me with people is that we have a whole lot of potential here. We have our destiny here, but nobody told you and showed you how to strategically plan in here. So potential destiny here. And guess what? Without a strategic plan, this doesn't get accomplished. And so one of the key things even for my personal life is uh, being acute in, in, in planning. So many of us were never taught about financial management, um, how to strategize for our personal lives. It wasn't in our environment. And that's not anybody's fault. But the information is available to you now. What are you going to do with it? Well, it says in the Bible to count the cost. Right, the vision and make it plan. That's right. You said something about planning. See, I have to show you. But if you like my planner, this is a 2019 weekly planner that I have. Isn't it pretty? I love stuff like this. I love the. I love to make planning pretty. You know, it's not fun, so I make it. I make it pretty. It's a, absolutely, and, it's a good way to do it. Right, and that's absolutely. why we do it. We, we do vision boards and we do all this fun stuff. Just all so, it can so keep, that you can see. So you can see it. You can keep it before you. And so you'll know, and you can check off, you know, as you go along, you know, I'm actually doing this. I'm doing making it, it pretty is how Martha Stewart became wealthy. Right, right. She, yes, she yes. made it pretty. Yes. Can be pretty. And so, you know, so get yourself a pretty planner. Absolutely. Get yourself something and, you know, <laughs> and do, you know, make an effort to plan what you plan to do. And so um, when we come back, we're going to talk to you a little bit more about um, the process of starting something anew. Hello, I'm Coach Val, the I Am Lady, and I have some exciting news for you. We are um, endeavoring on launching a new program for youth. It's uh, teenagers and college students. I have a group of powerful kids that is called Different I Am, and we're going to be doing some fundraisers, and we would appreciate if you would like to make a donation that you visit the IamLady.com. All of the proceeds will go to the teen group they will be taking a missions trip to puerto rico and we also will be taking them to dc to explore how we're governed as well as looking at our roots at the african-american museum so we would appreciate your support and a donation of a dollar five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars whatever you can afford to help these young people expand their life and to get to know who they are in christ i thank you and have a great day Hi, and welcome back. Are you ready to start something new? We are. We were talking about what we're starting new. And, and we wanted to tell you the process because even us, we, you know, we have to go through the process and God gives us something new to do. Absolutely. It's a process. And so the process that I go through is that, you know, when God, when I heard God say it, you know, it bear witness with my spirit, first of all, and I have to pray. And I said, okay, I have to lay a foundation of prayer before I yes. do it. So it's important to me before I do anything that I pray and hear from God. Yes. And as I started praying, he started downloading. I always say downloading. He downloaded into my mind, into my spirit that I was writing down how I'm going to do this. Because yes. I had no, I was like, okay, how do you want me to do it? Because we, you know, many are the plans and, you know, our heart, but it's God's plans that prevail. So I didn't want to just do anything. I wanted to do what he wanted me to do. So as I was writing down um, about the ministry, uh, he said that he wanted it to be a more of a community fellowship. You know, he said, don't call it a church. He said, call it a community fellowship 
because what we're trying to do is get people to go back out to the community. We're trying to, <laughs> not, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're equipping them to go back and have, they can still have a church home or whatever, but we're trying to have a gathering. And you mentioned um, before about community. Yes. Community is, is important this year. Uh, during our transition, we're gonna need people around us. We're gonna need help. You know, when two or three are gathered together, his name, you know, God is in the midst of us, but also when we're gathered together in agreement, you know, we have power. There's power in agreement. So you need to get some people around you that are in agreement with what you're doing and your vision. And then we don't have to compete with one another. We have to complement one another. And that's kind of the things that I think about as I'm, as God is showing me. He's saying, he wants you to teach people. You don't have to be competing against each mm -hmm. other. You complement. You, you measure your growth not against somebody else. You measure your growth on yourself. You only focus on you because all we're responsible for doing is ours, taking care of ourselves, you know, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And so God's really going to hold us responsible to execute that which he's placed in our heart. But we have to not measure ourselves against other people, just measure ourselves against ourselves. And one of the things about coupling one another is harmony. Uh, so often the world is about concophony, uh, about drama. God wants harmony. Mm -hmm. And you have the you have different chords, sharps and all kinds and, and melody. Harmony is yes. key. It doesn't make a right or wrong. Are you harmonizing? And one of the key things for me this year is to make sure that I strategize as I was sharing before. And the fact is that we stay focused. One of the key things when Val was talking about, Coach Val was talking about praying. You have to understand that God is divine. And just like he can tell Noah how to build an ark that never was, he can give you new strategies. One of the key things, even for me and my planning, I'm not looking for what someone else did. Because my location, you're in Delaware, my community, our environment, I'm in Philadelphia, really right now in South Philadelphia, my environment requires a different strategy as a pastor in South Philadelphia. So what is the strategy and the mind of God for what I'm doing in the location? Allow the God that knows today, tomorrow, the omnipotent God to give you the strategy yes. for what you need to do. Stop looking at someone else's strategy because we forget that that strategy was for that particular season designed for that particular person's unique abilities or inabilities and what was going on in our global society and the local society at that particular time. You, we must seek the mind of Christ for a strategy for right now. One of the key things is to allow God to invade your present, forget your past. The past is a galaxy away and you need to leave it a galaxy away. <laughs> and allow God to invade your presence so that he can give you a momentum for your now. And you need strategy for your now. And that's what God did with Val. He gave her her strategy for her now. Right now for where she is in the faith and healing walk, unique to who she is as a daughter. God knows where you are. He knows what's in your pocketbook and he knows what's not in your pocketbook. Go before him and get the divine strategy. And then the plan is we're here to help you to, to develop a strategy to execute. Because a plan without execution is just a plan on paper. How do I execute that? Yes. We got to get you to the place of doing momentum, executing. Val is a great executor. It's what she does. It's what I do. We couldn't be where we are if we weren't executors. But now we have to get you to momentum. All of my, I give people assignments. They have a specific amount of time to do a specific assignment so that I can get you in momentum. Yes. How to execute what God has given you the strategy for. Absolutely, and that's why today I wanted to share with you what we're doing that's new. And we have to go through the same process. And Absolutely. so, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm pretty much a self-starter. I can get some things started because I know the process because I've over the years I've learned it. But if you don't understand the process, then you should get help. I ask people for help. And, you know, before I 
I used to go to people and say, well, I need you to pray with me or help me or, you know, and, and, and what do you think or bounce it off of somebody. And a lot of times I, I do, I still do that even, but a lot of my friends now are leaders. So when I bounce it off of them, you know, then they can, uh, they're equipped to really Give see perspective. Upper, their perspective yes. on it. And then, then I take it, at, you know, I take their advice and their counsel because in a multitude of counsel, there's safety, yeah, and wisdom, safety and wisdom. But also too, we can't do everything. And so we need to understand what our limitations exactly. are. So, you know, if you're not good in financial planning, then get somebody to help you with that part of it. You know what I mean? If you know you're not good, counting the cost, then get somebody to sit down with you and take a piece of paper. It's not even that deep, you know, it's just take a piece of paper and start, you know, you know how people do it on the back of the envelope, they get the envelope and then they start adding stuff up, but you got to add something, you got to start somewhere. So you got to count the cost and see how much it costs. A lot of people leave themselves out Absolutely. when they That's count the true. cost. They, they forget that they got to get paid. So they'll say, well, it'll cost, you know, hundred dollars to do this, a thousand dollars to get the material, whatever. And they never put how much hours and, and time and labor that goes into that. You know, I was thinking my and thank God I can look on the internet. I lay down with my laptop sometimes and I'm doing research. And as I'm doing research, you know, that's time and energy. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, no matter what you do, is you're researching, so that's an extra it took me five hours of research to get, you know, this information and give it to somebody else. Just you know for a I mean? simple flyer. Yeah. It takes time and hours. We call flyers throwaways. That's the, 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 the term. Uh -huh. Because you do throw them away or you use them for no paper. But the person that created that flyer took them several hours to create that prop flyer. Yeah. Just to capture your attention, you don't realize and you need to track, like you said, you need to track the your time that you put into it. And if you feel that it's too much, hire somebody. Mm -hmm. Get wisdom on the right. Network. That's what community is all about. Networking. Okay, do you know an accountant that I can trust? Mm -hmm. All right, so that can help me to do this. That takes time off of your table to do a task that you're good at. Mm -hmm. All right, and at the same time, you can barter some things. Yes. Even if you don't have the economic, you can barter. Bartering is, is, is on the rise, understanding that, especially for entrepreneurs and, and, and young businesses. Mm -hmm. What do you have to offer? And that's one of the reasons why we're here. You are really, you're asking what's on, you're on our agenda as well. In the midst of what we're doing, you're also on our agenda so that you will be the best you in 2019 that you, that you can be for you, not somebody else, but for you. And also, too, I was thinking when you were saying that, you know, I have a sliding scale only because I know some people are just starting out. Mm -hmm. I have a sliding scale or, you know, they don't have the, the multitude. But then if you're a corporate executive, I know you can afford to pay the right price and it's still reasonable. OK, but like I said, I have a sliding scale when I work with people. I always believe that I don't give anything anymore. I used to give a lot of free stuff away, but not anymore. You know why? Because it's not helping you. You have to invest in yourself. You have to plant seeds. And so therefore, you know, I'll, I'll work with you. I'll give you a sliding scale, but you have to put some skin in the game. At, for real, if it's gonna mean <laughs> something to you, and I guarantee you on your job right yeah. now, how many of you had to put skin in it when you gave up your lunch time to go to a training session? Mm -hmm. All right, you gave up your lunch time for in order to make you the best you for your employer, um, go to a training session, uh, work, uh, go to a, a training session during your lunch, after lunch, on your weekend, just to be the best you. Well, I guess it's our time to close. I mean, this is a good subject, a yeah. topic. And I want to know what's new with you. We want to know what's new with you. Absolutely. So share with us in the comments below or give us a call. Um, you can reach me at the IamLady.com or you can call at 302-314-5230 if you want to talk to Naria. You can go to freshfireministriespa.org. Uh, um, all of our information is there for Over the Goal and all the current events are, are there. Absolutely, and she's in Philly and I'm in Delaware, but I'll go to Philly or she'll come to Delaware. Absolutely. So no just, we're not competing with one another. We just, you know, we love one another and um, we're complimenting one another. And that's one of the key things. And as women of God, we we do do that. Absolutely. So enjoy your life. 
Have a great week and remember to bless someone. Level up. Thank you.